Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing a Shein nail haul and I have never ordered nail products from Shein. So I was so excited to get my package in the mail. So first things first, when I first opened a package, this was the one thing that caught my eye. This is like a armrest slash kind of, I don't really know what to call it. I guess like a nail mat and they had two colors. I got a white marble. They also have a black marble and it's kind of cool like <clears throat> i think this is really cool for you know me to do like someone else's nails but i also feel like i could use this when i'm painting my own nails um i thought this was really cute and at first i definitely thought it was attached to it <laughs> i'm not gonna lie um but then i realized you could open it up and it's nice it kind of gives you like a nice little background like background for your nail pictures and for your videos and i just thought this was really nice and cute and super duper affordable you guys everything in this video i don't think there's anything that's over like 14 dollars. i don't even think it's that i think that was the most expensive thing that i got so next up you guys i've been trying to soak my nails off like all the time so i got this cute little nail container to soak my nails off in and it's cute simple basic i think this was like a dollar um yeah really simple and then i also got another one but i got the one that's like a two compartment kind of thing where like you put the hot water at the bottom and then you put the acetone on top and then you just soak your nails in like that. I've seen this on TikTok a lot. So when I saw it on Shein, I was like, you know what? I want to try it out because it looks really cool. In retrospect, I wish I would have got two of them. But yeah, this was really cool. And I like the fact that the top actually comes off. So yeah, this was really cool. I cannot wait to start soaking off my nails in this because it'll be a lot easier for me. So next up, I got this pack of three nail foils. Now, I have used nail foils before. I really don't use these very often, but I really want to. Um, I think they're actually so cool and so fun to play with. So I love that this pack came with a like rose gold kind of copper color. It also comes with your traditional gold flake, which was really nice. Be careful when you open it because it does all want to just fall right out. And then it also does come with a silver, which you guys, I don't really do a lot of silver nails. Silver is not really my kind of color too much, but this was cute. I liked it. So next up, I got one of these little mini nail lamps. Um, I only got one of these because I have been wanting to do like to use this when I do full cover nail tips. I do full cover tips very often and I wanted to see if this made my life easier um since getting this package i have used this and i don't know if it makes my life easier to be honest i feel like i i don't know i feel like i need to get one of those little like tiny like finger ones because this was a little bit harder for me to reach the other side but yeah it's cute it's convenient it was really cheap so i'm glad i got it um, and I couldn't get it open, so that's why I'm using those cuticle scissors. <laughs> scissors. I would definitely be very careful with those. Just make sure you don't hit one of the little um, LED lights. But yeah, this was cute. I didn't mind it. And it also came with a little instruction manual. I don't really know why you would need it, but it's in there just in case, you know, lets you know about the product warranty, all that good stuff. So yeah, really affordable and definitely cheaper than um, Amazon. So I went ahead and got some nail foils. Now these are like um, <laughs> floral print and they're also black and white. There's like a little bit of like a lacy design. I thought these were really cool and I don't own any like solid color foils like this. So I thought that was really, really nice. Then I got these like kind of holographic iridescent foils. I know you guys have seen that Aurora Borealis style nails. And at first when I got these, I thought I wanted to do those, but I don't know if I love the trend, to be honest with you. It kind of gives me like unicorn kids vibes. I don't know, but I thought these were really cool and I definitely am excited to use them. There, you get so many different kind of shifts. I think you could do so much with this little kit. 
and like all those colors like that little blue pink color that's gorgeous like in that ugh, they're just really pretty and this was really affordable so next up i got these like little nail sticky tabs um i know a lot of people like these for press on nails and i also got them from when i do um like full cover nails and i don't necessarily want to wear them past the video i'm hoping to be able to use these and hopefully they stay on my nails very strong um i've had some before that did so i don't see why they wouldn't but yeah you get uh four sheets with this so that, that was a really good deal next up is this kind of aurora glass paper and i think this is really cool um, the only thing is that like when you open it, it is kind of like reminding me of like a miscellaneous like Christmas decoration just because it doesn't seem like it's made for nails like the way that it's packaged. It looks like someone cut up like some garland from Christmas and was like, let's make this into nail art. <laughs> like, I don't know. I thought it was kind of janky, but the colors are so pretty. And honestly, you can cut this up and like add it to your own glitters or your own acrylic mixes. I think it'll be really cool to use, so definitely worth the buy. Um, I got another one, and this one kind of has that like crystal AB shift where it's like greens and purples and like orange colors. I think this is pretty cool. The first one is definitely my favorite, but this is definitely nice too. Okay, so next up, I got a wax pencil, and I love these. I switched over from like the traditional double-sided one to just the wax pencils because these work really well for me. Um, I thought this one was extremely long. Like, <laughs> I have a wax pencil and it's not this long, so I kind of thought like maybe if you needed to, you could always just cut it in half and end up with two wax pencils because that was long. That was like really long. <laughs> So next up, I got more nail foils, and you're probably like, is that the same? No, it's not the same. These ones are mostly just lace, and you guys, I wanted some lace foils back around Valentine's Day. I wanted to do a nail set with that, but I didn't own any, so now I do. So now I can't wait to kind of pull this out for like a classy nail design and maybe like some kind of lingerie-based nails. I don't know. I just thought they were cute and they were cheap. <laughs> So next up, I got this little circle, round, um, caviar bead style things. Um, I think this was like spilling a little bit. But yeah, I got these because I love caviar beads and I kind of love this shade of gold. Um, I have more caviar beads, but they're not quite this shade. So I wanted to get a bigger pack. Um, I will say I don't love this packaging at all. It makes me really nervous. Like I started to open this and I just was like, girl, no, don't do it. <laughs> like, Y'all, this packaging had me stressed out. So I was like, you know what? I'm a, um, I don't need to use these right now. So I'm gonna put them back in the container because yeah, it had me stressed out. <laughs> they were just a little too crazy in the package. So next up, I got these big cuticle nippers and I got these to take my stones off because my small ones just do not do the trick. And I really like how these turned out. These were like a lot better quality than I thought they would be. I'm just comparing the size. They are a little bit bigger than my regular my regular ones. They're not much bigger, but they they are like the perfect size. And honestly, the hand it has like the silicone kind of handheld material that was really nice and super handy of course i got some more of these um stiletto style swatch sticks i love these i usually buy mine on amazon so it was nice to see they were on here for like a lot cheaper i really love those um next up i got another little small circle container but this one is um little dried flowers well, I don't know if they're dried flowers. I don't think these are real flowers. I definitely, <laughs> I mean, I know they're not real flowers. That sounds dumb. But like, I don't think these are supposed to like, I don't know what these are supposed to be like, okay? I don't know if they're supposed to mimic real flowers. They kind of give me like paper flower vibes, but I think they'd be so pretty encapsulated. Next up, I got these lint-free wipes. I love lint-free wipes nowadays. They're super nice. And they had this really pretty purple pink shade that I had to have. And comparing them to my ones I already have, they're like the same exact thing, just a different color. And yeah, this was a, a great deal for how big of a pack this is. So next up, I got these little brushes. Um, if you guys watch my channel lately, you guys know I've been doing a lot of nail art 
Um, I'm not good at it. We're not going to lie. I'm not, I'm not great at nail art, but I want to be. So I'm going to be using these brushes and they look so nice. They say they're Kalinsky hair. I don't know about that. You know, I don't care if they are, if they aren't. They're cheap. They were like a dollar or two dollars and that one rolled away. Um, they're just nice. I thought they were cool and I definitely cannot wait to use them. Um, but yeah, these were really nice. I like the packaging. I like how clear they were. I like that they were different sizes. It was just nice. Um, I still need to find a really long nail striping brush. If you guys know of any good ones that you actually recommend that last long, let me know down below because I definitely need a long one. So next up, I got this little cuticle nipper slash cuticle pusher kit. This came with three in it and they were all individually packaged. Um, I got this even though I already own stuff like this I got it because I don't have um, and I'm not gonna open this one yet so I'm just showing you guys that what it looks like but I got it because it has like different ones that I don't have um, I really like like this one how it has a little scraper side I think that looks really cool um, it also kind of scares me, but I think it's cool looking. Then they had that really thick cuticle pusher one, which I've seen this forever and I do not own one. I, well, I did not own one. Now I do and I'm really excited to use it. Um, this one's like the traditional one that you have with its own little like angled scraper. Then it also has like this flat one. So yeah, I like this a lot. These are actually really nice. I'm really glad to have them. So next up we have this little container of these like metal shards um they kind of give off like a rock shard kind of feel they were definitely spilling there was a lot of residual um dust on them i guess like the containers were completely closed there was just like so much like spillage like look at all that that's crazy so anyway let me just clean this up really quick you know get my table back together <laughs> These are cool. They're like little shards. I honestly got these because I thought they would look so good encapsulated, but also I think they would look so good in like a stone crystal formation. I think it would look really, really cool. So I'm glad to have these and I love that they came in so many different colors. Like this color was like a red kind of wine bottle glass. I thought that was really, really cool. like so pretty and i like the different shades of like gold it was really nice so next i got some nail files because like i said i'm gonna start doing other people's nails so i just want to keep some fresh clean files that way you know there's no cross contamination um actually and i'm getting four packs of those and i have no idea what grid they are so mm, yeah we'll find out <laughs> So next up, I got this pack of stickers and I completely forgot about getting this, but looking at the shapes, I was really confused, you guys. Like, um, if you know what these shapes or letters or symbols mean, like, let me know because some of those I like these, I get there's like some math shapes in there and like some other stuff, maybe some bases. I don't know. Like I recognize the math shapes, but like that's it i have no idea what that other stuff is i was literally confused these ones i thought maybe they're just like different kind of yeah no, I, shapes i don't know i know these these are probably why i got this because there's a different you know astrological astrological i can never say that you know what i mean they're different horoscope signs i thought those were cool so i can't wait to use those but the other ones, let me know, because I don't want to put them on my nails if I don't know what they mean. <laughs> so next up, I have this pack of stickers, and this was really big. This was bigger than I thought it was going to be. It's cute. It's like these little flowers, and I thought they would be so adorable for spring. Like, you guys, I'm in a floral mood right now. I don't know what's going on, um, but yeah, this was really cool, and I feel like I just kept going. Like, I feel like I kept just unfolding more and more like i thought that was really cute it also came with these little white ones i don't know what it was about these ones but it made me flash back to like middle school and getting like those little like kiss nail art kits and having the ones that had the built-in rhinestones like let me know if you guys remember that stuff because i used to get those as a kid and would always mess up and would always rip a flower petal and it was just a mess so that is what this is giving me and i don't know how i feel about it <laughs> like 
<laughs> I don't know if I like those or don't like them. I don't know. I think they'd be really cute for like my daughter's nails. So obviously I'm going to keep them. But yeah, I don't, I don't know what we're dealing with that. <laughs> like it was giving me like drugstore Rite Aid vibes. Like I don't know. But, you know, nail art's nail art. You never know when you're going to use it. So, next, I got these really pretty gold, um, like, constellation, um, galaxy, moon, sky kind of nail arts. I've wanted these for a long time, but, like, they were so expensive on Amazon. So, I got literally, like, three packs of those because I'm not paying $9. <laughs> So next up, I got these red flame nail stickers. I thought these were really cool, and I don't own any flame ones, really, so I really like those. Then I got these golden butterfly ones. They're, like, hollow, and they shift, and they're just really pretty and basic, but I love them. Next up, I got these, like, animal print butterflies. I don't know. They were rated really high, but they're not really doing anything for me, like, to be honest. Then I got these colorful butterflies, which I have no idea why I got them because I got that McCart Mariposa collection and it has so many butterflies in it. It's insane. <laughs> then I got these random ones. These are just little shapes. I thought those were really cool. Next up, this is the most confusing thing I have ever seen in my life. Um, I think it's supposed to be like a French tip cutter and the one I got is like a V shape. The only problem is, is that even after looking at, like, looking at this guide, girl, no. Like, what are these shapes? I would never call that a French shape, and I would never wear that. So I looked it up on YouTube, and I am confusioned. I have no idea how this works. Like, absolutely no idea. Like, I thought it was for, like, tracing. Let me know if you can put me in the right direction of how to use this, because I don't get it. And this is completely not nail related, so if you don't want to watch it anymore, that I understand. Um, I picked up a couple little phone cases because I do like Shein's phone cases. They're affordable and they're super cute. So the first one I got is this like little cloud one. I thought this was really pretty. Um, this is very simple and basic. It almost doesn't look like clouds, but I like it. I thought it was really cute. Um, next up, I got this purple jelly one and yeah super simple cute it's clear i thought maybe i could put some stickers on it and make it like my own then i got this kind of marbled um blue one and it's so funny because i think they spray them with the little foam in it because look at the design is on the foam i don't know this was interesting though i definitely i definitely liked it it wasn't as stunning as i thought it would be but like these two were cool they're like the same exact thing but yeah, I thought they were just really cute and simple. But yeah, guys, that's my Shein haul. Let me know if you want to see me do some more hauls from Shein. And thank you so much for watching. And you guys have a good night. I'll see you soon.